welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, we're going to talk about the effects of neem oil. So first of all, what is neem oil anyway? Why is it used? So sometimes you'll notice on plants, you get these white specks that you see that starts to go under. These are little mites, little white flies that turn to really ugly black flies. And, and basically, it's a, something that you use in order to protect it. Now, here's some mistakes or some things that you shouldn't do. Never, never apply the neem oil um, when it's hot. I'm here in Florida. Um, do it early in the morning. And you know, see, you see the little bugs walking around there. Um, do it in the morning. Use an emulsifier like a soap when you, if you use one that has a mixture. So here's some of my mistakes, and I hope you guys don't make these same mistakes. I didn't use. I used you know straight up neem oil mixed with water. And this is my recovering pepper plant, and I have different kinds here. You can see it shriveled up, and it just looks sad. Now I will say I use two different products, two different times, and this is a result of using straight neem oil mixed with water. And I use it on this pepper plant, and I use it this on sweet pepper plant. Um, it is actually now just starting to kind of recover, um, but it's it looks sad. Now I don't. Some people agree with neem oil, some don't. Um, have used two different products and. All the products you see I show you here, I'm not getting paid by them, so I'm just giving you the raw deal. So I'm going to show you now. All right, here's the first product, neem oil, um, fungicide. Um, it's used, um, it's already pre-made for you. Let me tell you something, I love this thing. I've used it um, once a week, on down to once every two weeks, just to spray when I see that there's um, areas of white flies, spider mites. Um, anything going on with the plants and I never had the problems where I felt that it would actually look like it's drying out the leaves because it is essential oil and if you do it in the hot sun it will dry everything out and they just won't look good anymore. I ran out of this stuff, couldn't find it online so I went ahead and said alright well let's go with the pure neem oil and make sure I read the instructions properly, mix it with the water. Again I did not put soap um, in it and I ended up with the hot dry mess that I have now. So if you can get it already mixed for you, great, do it. Um, but if you're gonna do this, definitely do your research before choosing to try to mix it yourself because you really need a emulsifier in, included inside of the, the oil mixture. So again, I wanna show you the plants. This is using straight neem oil. Um, it did not look like this. You've seen it in my previous videos, my pepper plants. Were very thriving, looks great. Now they look kind of a little dried up. So what I've been doing is just hand picking off the leaves if they look like they are infested with the white flies. I think you just saw a couple of them um, pop off right there. So if you shake the leaves, see them there. Um, I'm, I'm just starting to just take them off. Just take the leaf off one at a time. Um, sometimes you'll get ones that just look 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 at this. That's just terrible. Hopefully you guys can see it. That's the back side of the leaf. That's all little mites there. I did not spray this plant and he's actually thriving really well. Okay, it's a separate type of pepper, but the fact is it looks, you can see that I did not spray it and it still looks nice, healthy, vibrant. So we're gonna experiment with a couple of different uh, things to help get this guy back. One of the things I wanna look at is um, infusing this with some magnesium and some um, Epsom salt. So let me show you the product. First of all, peppers love um, the extra magnesium, the extra um, Epsom salt here. Uh, so I feel like it had a lot of just, it needs some love. So I went ahead and made a mixture of one tablespoon to one gallon of water. And I did a root soak on those pepper plants. So I want you guys to stay tuned and see how well if those pepper starts to survive. Uh, my my uh, hypothesis is that the plant that is definitely doesn't have any of the neem spray on it, is going to thrive and do start doing really well and then again it's just fostering some good love and giving it some good nutrients um, with the pepper plant i'm also going to um, probably add some fertilizer but for, before i do that i want to see how well is adding that extra magnesium to your pepper plants if it's going to do any better and again i think it really will also i want to show you this little gadget here um, i'll probably be reviewing that in another video 
Um, this actually remotely Bluetooth, it sends me information and tells me about my soil level, it tells me about my water, if I have enough light, um, and if I have enough uh, nutrients in the, the water. So I'll put in the comments of what it is, and but I've been using it now for approximately 111 days, so it says. And uh, so I'll tell you how it's been helping me to kind of guide what I need to have um, in my little garden here. Um, another thing, guys, when you put too much neem oil, your best thing you need to do immediately is get it out of the sun. And you're just frying, you're cooking pepper leaves. That's really what you're doing. And when you put neem oil on in the hot sun areas with hot sun. But he's doing, <clears throat> again, much better. Kind of took him out of the sun some. And now, all of a sudden, I've got blossoms, I've got peppers, and, you know, we're doing it. It's coming back, guys. Go for peppers. All right, guys, I just want to show you a second. This is a batch of peppers that I am nursing for someone. And same thing, they put the neem oil in, and it, it actually was much drier than what you see here. Um, another thing is you want to keep everything fluid. You get them, make sure they're nice and wet. But look at this. Right, so that's what I'm trying. They're in larva stage right there. They're getting ready to come out. <clears throat> so we're going to try to figure out some type of um, a better. We're going to order back that good neem, neem spray that we ordered before. We're going to spray them, make sure that this doesn't happen. So when it's like this, the, the neem spray actually just clogs the, the, um, for them to breathe when they're little. It can't, it doesn't stop the, it, it doesn't stop it. It just helps to kind of limit the spread, okay? Um, but we're doing much better since I've had it here. And then you also have to remember, we see these curls. What does that tell you? And you make sure you're getting it some more water. So, all right, here's the pepper plant nursery. All right, guys, remember I told you I'm going to do a little bit more off the, um, giving it some good food. And this is what we're going to try as is food for the herbs. Because right now we weren't putting anything in there. And so... Again, we're gonna give it some love. Bye! Make sure to subscribe and like the channel. Bye!